the final race on day two then is the virtual race in everyday maiden stakes and a big looking field for this one for three year olds and upwards get the list of the runners it's a two mile maiden as well the top one is Adamski for Paul Rhodes Brave New Will Joshua Sutherland Carnelian Nick Driver Drinking Drummer C. Beckwith are there any other sorts Hangu Leary for Vinnie Gerard Le Moss for Martin Master Blaster Django Pat Callium Steve Rann Paul Costello Ryan Costello Nalfie Nook Ralphie Nook even for Graham Clutterbuck Sartingo Bianco David Robertson South Arrogan Gold Peter Savage Leal Bandit for Hems Omega Girl Paul O'Neill Rising Damp Kevin Minahan Tal be a saved Dan Hughes Top Camp T Rogers Bonfire Schwill for Dan Hughes Nebau for Darren Thompson Rahin White Joshua Sullivan and Zakir for Shadwell so 21 then in a two mile maiden at Leicester just up the road from me and away they go 20 miles up the road and they're spread right across the track and racing away then and Bonfire Schwill is going to be the early and gets across to defence. But an awful long way to go yet. And Bonfire Schwill is the leader from Rahin White second. And then Adamski is third. That's a big field for, for this two miler. And Bonfire Schwill has gone a good three or four lengths clear. But some of them are going really wide on the track. Including the one closest to us. Which is Top Camp. And the grey also wide is uh, Lille Bandit I think. They sort of sort themselves out through the first half mile, but a lot of those ones wide have not got in at all. Jockey's not used a great deal of common sense, but it's a bonfire shrill who is the leader by about three to Master Blaster and South African Gold, the two in the yellow up the center of the track. Damsky and Ralphie Nook also with them right over towards the rail. Sartingo Bianco in the blue and purple hoops. The green on the rail is Hangu Leary, rising damp in the orange cap, trying to get a little bit closer as well. The moss in the purple jacket is on the inside of Pack Callium. Back marker is just about a meter girl, I think. But they're still spread right across the track in this race, and Bonfire Schwill has got an easy lead. He's got the rail, he's got the lead, everything going his own way at the moment. And the main challenges look to be giving him a good bit of ground by coming up the centre of the track so Bonfire Schwill is the leader it's absolutely no sense why those two yellow jacketed horse and the ground I mean the ball road I haven't tried to cut over maybe they will now as they begin to sweep round this turn but Bonfire Schwill is still in the lead and the jockeys are still staying really wide aren't they and Bonfire Schwill is in front Adamski has now been driven up into second with Ralphie Nook on his inside and the two yellow jacketed horses Master Blaster and South African Gold the grey behind them Lil Bandit is now making a little bit of a forward move Le Moss has dropped right out to the back and he's nowhere near as good as his namesake by the looks of things but Bonfire Schwill has got a clear lead then still but it's not as big as it was before Ralphie Nook and Adamski throwing down a big challenge. Then Master Blaster and Sartingo Bianco. South African Golds after that. Then Leo Bandit and Nibble. And Omega Girls trying to get into it. So too is Chameleon. But it's Bonfire Schwill in the lead. They've still got well over three and a half furlongs to go, though. His lead is back up to two or three lengths again now. He's got that row to keep him going. Ralphie Nook is in second. Little Leo Bandit is now coming through on the outside. And look at look at Drinking Drummer. Master Blaster's also now coming out of the pack. But it's Bonfire Schwill who's still in the lead. Leo Bandit, the great up the centre of the track. Then Master Blaster drinking drummer wider still, but now Leo Bandit comes through to just about shade of a two pole. Leo Bandit the grey right at the centre of the track is in the lead from Bonfire Schwill. Master Blaster tabling a save is now getting into it. Drinking drummer is still there. Hangu Leary is trying to get him as well as the furlong to go. And Leo Bandit is now being pressed by Master Blaster and tabling a save. But Leo Bandit is repelling Raiders at the moment. Here comes to be a save throwing down a big charge into the final half furlong up the near side. Hangu Leary as well, but it's Leo Bandit to be a save. Hangu Leary Zaki are finishing like a train and it's close on the line I think Hangu Leary might have just about got up on the near side with a two mile race and it finished like a far furlong sprint didn't it four of them flashed for five of them flashing past the line together maybe even six it's mighty close Hangu Leary at least has got a share of it but Zakir came from absolutely nowhere let's take a look and see Hangu Leary's probably just won it 
And it's a short head win for Hangu Leary and Vinnie Gerard. Zakir for Shadwell. Right a great race in second. Master Blaster for Django run away in third. Leo Bandit for Hems looked all over the winner in the final half furlong. And drinking drummer for Craig Beckwith was fifth. A really exciting finish today too.